First, all new tonight, two former Honolulu police officers convicted in the Kealoha mailbox case will soon be free again. As our chief investigative reporter, Lynn Kawano shows us they're still in custody, but they aren't in prison anymore. Derek Hahn and Bobby Wynn have nearly completed their sentences. Both are now in halfway houses. June 2019, then Honolulu police officers Derek Hahn and Bobby Wynn walked out of the federal courthouse after a jury found them guilty of conspiracy to frame a man for a crime. Hahn was sentenced to three and a half years. He was sent to Sheridan, Oregon to serve his time. And Wynn got four and a half years at a prison camp in South Dakota. There are no federal halfway houses in Hawaii, so both men are in Sacramento to finish their sentences. The reason you go to a halfway house is to reintegrate yourself into the community, to begin to get a job, make contact with your family and friends, and so that when you're actually out of the prison system totally, it's not such an abrupt, you know, like open the door and you walk out. Han and Wynn worked under Louis Kealoha, the ex-HPD chief who was also convicted in the case. Kealoha is still in an Oregon prison. This is a picture of him from behind bars with other Hawaii inmates. He was sentenced to seven years and is expected to be released in three. His wife, Catherine, the ringleader of the conspiracy, while a deputy city prosecutor, got 13 years. She is in a California prison with a release date of 2030. Both will be eligible to move to a halfway house in the last year of their sentence. A halfway house is like a dormitory living. There are no cells, but there are curfews, there are restrictions, there are searches and so forth. But you are allowed freedom to go out in the community, find a job, um, make contacts. Derek Hahn will be allowed to leave the halfway house on July 29th, Bobby Wynn in April. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.